Today is Monday, April the 29th, 2013. My name is David Faber, and today we're going to be talking about Amazon reviews. And um, this particular episode is um, sponsored by the uh, beautiful business Amazon book and the uh, book design mastermind. So if uh, if you're writing Kindle books, um, I highly recommend you go and and visit uh, one of those projects or both. So let's uh, to get our video started here. Let's uh, clean up all the uh, icons on my desktop. And um, first thing I'm going to talk about is um, just sort of Amazon reviews in general and the power of them and how to get them and then how to do a, a, a very um, useful Amazon review both for yourself and the product or uh, service or book that you're reviewing. But, uh, first off, the uh, point of um, Amazon reviews is um, when you publish a um, book, specifically a Kindle book, is what um, we'll really be focusing on today on Amazon. You know, the, the entire purpose is to create sales, and the best way to create sales, um, besides promoting your book, is uh, by having people do reviews for your book. And <clears throat> the reason this is powerful is the more reviews you have for your book, real reviews, um, specifically by um, verified uh, Amazon buyers, which we'll talk about in a minute. Having real reviews is the best way to um, help your book climb through the ranks of uh, all the Amazon um, uh, books that are available. And <clears throat> so, I mean, the, your, your real goal um, to create sales from people that are new to you is to cultivate reviews. Because when you're promoting to people that you know or uh, uh, using lists that you uh, have access to or control, those are, those are people that you're more than likely already in some type of relationship with. And the power of Amazon is that something like um, last figures I saw were 60% of every credit card swipe for an electronic sale in the US went through uh, Amazon US. So the the volume, the sheer volume of people um, participating in Amazon is just, um, uh, it's just very challenging to even get your head around the number. So purpose of publishing is to uh, sell. So you publish a book, the reason is to sell the book and to create sales uh, reviews. So uh, I brought up this um, crazy fast website um, site that I run um, as an example of one way to uh, create uh, reviews. If you look here, um, I mean the, the point of this site is um, uh, th there's a checklist here that uh, came out of a mastermind group that I uh, gave a, a talk on this subject for several years ago and uh, people were complaining about their sites being so slow and my WordPress sites turn out five to ten thousand requests a second just bare sites that I put up you know I can get one of these running in five minutes that churns this type of um, throughput most people are lucky if they can get two or three requests a second now the reason that that's important is that if you've got a website that's taken 10 or 20 seconds for the page to present to your um, visitor uh, you're gonna lose a lot of uh, traffic also if it takes 10 or 20 seconds to go from one page to another your um, your visitors are gonna get really um, uh, they're gonna lose patience with that and they're gonna leave so uh, rule of thumb is uh, you know your website should load fast for example let's uh, click reload here that's how fast your sites should load and that's not just because I'm um, you know I'm playing some kind of game or something if I just go if I go to another one of my sites boom that's just how fast they load and the reason for that is well the reason is laid out in this checklist here so you can go through this checklist yourself or you can uh, pass it over to your tech team to speed up your website or you can hire me to do it for you 
So the way that I'm using this site to generate Amazon reviews is um, I've got the you know the normal um, you know price that I charge for people because I have so many people asking me I just had to start charging to get rid of the looky lose and also it's a good uh, little revenue stream um, or I've got this uh, limited time offer like a nearly web free website speed analysis and I tell people to go down through here and um, you know what's required to get a free website at speed analysis which is you know basically buy a copy you know post an Amazon review message me within meetup so I actually get your message and the, the reason I'm doing this video today is that it, it occurred to me because I've been getting a lot of um, questions about uh, reviews from really smart people and, and even a lot of uh, smart uh, people that are publishing Kindle books some some authors have a whole bunch of Kindle books up and a lot of physical books and they really are clueless about um, how to uh, how to write a good review on Amazon and this is essential because as a um, uh, hopefully you're a, uh, a Kindle author or soon will be uh, let's flip off uh, Skype here um, it's important when you when you publish your books on Kindle one of the first things you're gonna do is what's called review swaps so that means that if you publish your Kindle book then you would contact me and you'd say hey David I just published my Kindle book and here's the link uh, will you do a review swap with me and so I'll buy your book and you'll buy my book and we'll do a review swap you review something in my book and I review something in your book so um, what you can do is uh, for the first um, hundred reviews or so or maybe less than that anyway uh, for the first some number of reviews what you can do is uh, do these review swaps and another thing you can do as an incentive instead of a, review, a re review swap you can offer something of value which is what I've done here is I'm you know giving away one of the two hundred dollar or the one ninety seven dollar speed analysis um, walkthroughs that I do for a website and um, uh, instead of you know paying the 197 a person buys a ten dollar book and uh, invests uh, 10 or 20 minutes doing a review and that's worth its weight in gold to me because that um, you know w one of those um, purchases and reviews a person makes you know if there's a hundred of those that may push my book up high enough in the Amazon uh, sales rank data where enough eyeballs are on it so it's selling several thousand copies a day which will far exceed the two hundred dollars which I could have gotten from my service so what you can do you know whatever whatever um, um, lead generating or a low-cost uh, entry-level product or service uh, that you you that you provide people even if it's like a free PDF or something instead of making the PDF free or the uh, the uh, low-cost uh, you know free short consulting session instead of making those free make those uh, review where so a person buys your book reviews your book and then um, you provide the service to them alright so let's um, let's move on to Amazon here and take a look at um, uh, let's see customer equation uh, this is a book I just did a review for um, today and uh, this is actually a really good book um, you you probably uh, be served to uh, yeah, take a look at the table of contents I think it's a great book um, and I think most people would be served to buy it and read it and I know Brian Brian Massey lives here in town I've known him for a long time so I clicked on this book and you'll notice right here it says your customer creation equation um, oh you know interesting you know, usually it says huh that's interesting usually it says um, that I've already bought that book huh well that's interesting you now let's delete this from my cart here huh um, well, usually it says across the, the top here that you bought this book. Um, so I'm unsure why that's not there right now, but anyway, it, um, it usually is. 
Um, so here, but anyway, here's the way you do a uh, a uh, book review. Now, um, when you're doing a book review and you are an author or you have some other product in Amazon, I um, recommend that you do what's called a, a review jacking, also, which is uh, it's kind of a uh, it's kind of an imprecise term, but it, you get the idea. It's basically you're giving a review and also you're plugging something of yours too. And you do it in a way that um, flows seamlessly with your review and also enhances your review. All right, so let's go down through here and find. Um, uh, uh, so I'm, I'm on an Amazon page. Now, the way you find the review tab is you go all the way down to the bottom here. We'll see where it says customer reviews. And you say write a customer review. Now, if you've already written a review, a review um, you'll get this screen. Whoops, only one customer review per product set is allowed. And then you can go to the uh, editing existing. In our case, we're just going to go back to the item and we're going to find my review. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go to uh, all the way down to the bottom where the reviews are here and say, see all 23 customer reviews. Now this is now this is interesting. Let's take a let's take one quick look at one other thing here before we go too much farther. Um, that's interesting. Amazon sales seller rank. Okay, here's one other thing about reviews that I'm going to share. And you know. Um, I guess maybe I'll mention this to Brian and some other authors I know also. See, this book has uh, 23 reviews, and you know there are 19 five-star reviews. And I'm looking down through here, and there's you know I'm seeing several uh, Amazon verified purchases. Hmm. All right. Um, quick quick aside here. Let's go look at my beautiful business book here. Um, first thing you'll notice, notice the cover image is much wider than all these others here, except maybe this one, although the, the wording on this is uh, um, less useful than you might imagine. Um, the reason I uh, use this, uh, this is a uh, undocumented uh, cover size in Amazon. I use this so that my title and subtitle, Bus Beautiful Business, Living Well, Doing What You Love, and my name, David Favor, will stand out. Now let's take a look at this book here. Now see, here's what I would have imagined I, I normally see when uh, I've purchased something. Uh, instant order update, you purchase this item and there's the date. Maybe that drops off after a while because it was probably a, a year ago that I purchased Brian's book. Uh, anyway, my point in looking at this is um, if you look here, I'm, I'm ranked uh, number 80,000 in uh, Kindle. And when I first published my book, I came in at 360,000. And with only four five-star reviews, I, the, the only ones I have are five-star right now, I've jumped from 360,000 to 80,000, and this number bounces back and forth between like 60 and 90,000. Anyway, the point is, I started at 360,000 uh, in the Kindle store the first day I published, and now I'm today at 80,000. Now let's go back and look at Brian's book. Uh, and he published this in... July 10th, 2012, and he is currently 607,000 with 23 customer reviews, and 19 of those are five star. Now, this is important to really think about this. I mean, there's, you know, the the best we can do is uh, is make up stories about, you know, this uh, seller rank data. Now the point is the higher or the lower that number the higher it means the higher you are in uh, the Amazon uh, Kindle ecosystem and higher is better. I suspect that the reason that um, Brian's book is ranked so much lower than my book 
No, well, he's picked some of the same. Well, it looks like he's picked some of the same categories. I figure. I figure that this is a combination of the categories he picked, uh, and possibly the age of the book. Um, it may be that Amazon gives new published, book, newly published books like mine um, uh, some um, uh, extra boost in the uh, sales data, so it uh, creates more initial sales sales. Now one of the things I do notice is that there are no editions of this book published. Let's take a look at his uh, Kindle Kindle edition. Okay, so um, he has no editions published. Uh, I'm up to, um, if you go, if we go back to beautiful business here, this may be also a key factor and this is important to really keep in mind because the whole point of um, of all this um, focus is to you know get your book uh, the highest possible uh, into the Amazon ecosystem. Now if you look at this um, publisher Easy Way Books the 12th edition I'm already up to the 12th edition and I'm about to this week publish the 14th edition so um, it may be that by publishing editions, that may be a way to uh, reset that um, that calculation that keep that takes into consideration number of sales, number of reviews by real Amazon buyers, and the date of the last time the book was updated. All those factors go into an equation that um, uh, ClickBank.com calls that gravity. So we'll just, for the conversational sake here, we'll call it gravity. Um, my suggestion for Brian, maybe just as an, an experiment, is to, um, see this is the first edition here, is for his uh, Kindle book, is to start publishing editions. Uh, at least like, you know, one every month or so to fix uh, typos, to add in new information, like his information in chapter seven about, um, uh, marketing bat batteries is great information. Um, part of what he mentioned there, though, is a little bit out of date because most of his focus on um, SEO is uh, link building, and that's incorrect now. Um, uh, as time goes by, uh, link building does have some weight uh, still, and I say some weight still because uh, on-page SEO, in other words, uh, playing by... Uh, Google's rules of uh, how to write your content and how to notify Google that your content is available and um, there's all sorts of factors called on-page SEO that are in your control. Off-page SEO or link building is outside your control. You can ask somebody to link to you uh, or you can buy some service which I wouldn't recommend because Amazon will throw you out of the index or uh, Google will throw you out of their index when they catch you doing that. Um, uh, link building is something that is outside your control um, and uh, on-site SEO is in, in your control and also creating direct, direct traffic is in your control. Direct traffic um, in uh, Beautiful Business Chapter 31 I go into this in great detail. Direct traffic means that um, a person types in your website like um, something like um, in my case my website RadicalHealth.com over 60% of all the traffic is direct traffic. In other words, people type in RadicalHealth.com carriage return in their browser bar, or they click through an email, or they've got my site bookmarked. In other words, there's no referring website. There's no backlink that's sending that um, traffic to me. It's a person going directly to my site based on uh, the mind share that I have or the you know street cred that I've got with them. Um, uh, so I'd suggest, you know, for the second edition of uh, his book that he just go in and um, add um, information about on-page SEO and direct traffic and then uh, email his entire list saying, look, um, uh, uh, if you have a uh, first edition of my physical book, I'm um, making, you know, updates to my uh, Kindle version right now, so I'd recommend you go ahead and buy that, get the updates, and then, you know, maybe every six months or year, actually republish the physical book based on whatever edition you're at at the moment. So, for example, if, uh, let's see, this is April, 
say by October he was up to uh, what is that April uh, May June July August September October that's um, six months so one first edition plus six editions would be the seventh edition so maybe in October of this year he publishes another uh, run of his physical book as the seventh edition uh, and then continues to make a you know eight nine tenth edition whatever updates to his Kindle book, uh, so it uh, generates uh, repeat sales on uh, physical books too. Anyway, little trick. So let's uh, let's talk about uh, uh, what what makes a really um, good review on Amazon. And actually, I guess I am going to have to click my uh, write a review here because I'm going to have to click on this to to. Uh, uh, show you um, what this looks like. So here's the back end review editor. All right, so um, I gave Brian five stars on this book because it's a fantastic book. And my title um, uh, is an exercise in uh, copywriting, too, is Brian Massey, the conversion scientist, hooks uh, fire hoses of cash to your bank account with this masterpiece. So, you know, right off the bat, that's a little bit different title than most people write. Um, and I actually learned this uh, at the Wizard Academy, which is uh, another commonality I have with Brian. He's a, he's a Wizard Academy junkie. Um, I was in a writing class there, and uh, one of the guys um, made a comment that my writing just sucked rocks. In fact, as I recall... He had a piece of, we had writing exercises during this class, and he, he read some of my writing, and he, he read, and he, and he was, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know, reading this and shaking his head, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then he said, uh, he shook it in one hand at me, he said, you know what I think about this writing, and he walked, no joke, he walked to a trash can and ripped it in half and dropped it in. He said, this just sucks, and he said, here's the reason it sucks, is, um, he said, David, you're writing, you're you're being too nice. He said, um, um, I can't remember the exact terms he used. I call it sharpening your edges now. Basically, it's allowing your unique conversational style to permeate and express through your written language. Like if you listen to the way my voice moves, the cadence and rhythm, the rises um, and falls, uh, if you can convert that into your writing, uh, your writing will be much much better and that's I call that sharpening your edges in other words um, uh, you know pouring gasoline on the fire of your idiosyncrasies and uh, uniqueness so that's uh, how I wrote this title here and how I do most of my writing um, now how I wrote well okay let's let's take a look at this window see this see this uh, little checkbox here if you've actually purchased a, a book, this um, a person's book, which you you really should. I mean, especially if you're doing a review swap or somebody is providing you uh, a highly valuable uh, commodity like my uh, free website speed analysis, or a lot of times I'll review people's copywriting or ads. Uh, I run all sorts of uh, masterminds and free open public events, so. You probably attend events uh, or consume things of value from people right now that have made a profound difference in your life. And so a great thing for you to do is find all those people that um, you got karma with. In other words, they provided you value and you've yet to provide them a reciprocal value and give them a good review. Buy their book. I mean, Kindle books uh, will usually range from uh, 99 cents to $10, or nine, 99 cents to 9.99. And so, you know, it ain't like it's a big sale that's going to break the bank. Just go buy whatever they're selling their Kindle book, and for whatever price it is, who cares? And give them a great review. Uh, and also, be sure and click this label this review so customers know you purchased this item on Amazon. All right, so. Let's take a look at this review. First thing that I always do in my reviews, and I recommend you do too, is put a date and the chapter. So that if, um, uh, if for example, like uh, one of the uh, other ways that I'm uh, cultivating reviews right now is I'm running a, um, a book design mastermind meetup group. 
and people in the local, um, you know, San Antonio, Austin, Dallas corridor and Houston corridor can attend physically or for people out of town because 90, probably 90, 95 percent of all my uh, tribe, my customers, clients and kin are out of town or scattered around the globe on, you know, across every continent possible. So, you know, a lot of those people are unable to show up. So what I tell people is, um, you know, if, if you're if you can attend, um, do so and bring a friend. If you're out of town, what I've told people is that if you uh, RSVP yes or no to the event, uh, I will send you a copy of whatever goes on in inside the room. In other words, we're going to do some sort of screen capture or audio recording or something. Uh, we're going to make it up as we go along. Whatever happens, though, will be a high value commodity. So the purpose of that is uh, several reasons. One is for people to take micro actions. This is really important and this is one of the things that uh, Brian talks about in his book, uh, The um, uh, let's see, Your Customer Creation Equation, which I think is really nice. Uh, I really like the alliteration of his title. Is um, I'm, I'm trying to remember the usability study. Something, something uh, like um, best I can remember the, the the statistics were this is if a person gives you five yeses then uh, the barrier to the sixth yes uh, lowers to such a rate that it was the difference between um, something like uh, uh, sales went up by 80 percent if a person got five yeses before they asked for a sale now a yes is anything a customer says yes to whether that's an internal yes, um, uh, like uh, in your marketing copy or what you're writing, uh, I usually start everything with, you know, um, is this book for you? And then, you know, list off some bullets and every one of those bullets is creating a yes in the person's mind. Um, the same way creating an RSVP to a meetup event, whether it's a yes or no, that's a micro action and it is, it's actually a yes because the yes is I've taken an action. So that creates a micro action as the first uh, goal. Second goal is it tells me out of my list how many people are actually interested in book design. Um, and then uh, thirdly it allows me to uh, access those people because um, Meetup will allow me to email all the people that RSVP yes or no for a particular event. So it's a way to uh, Meetup's list building or list segmenting uh, facilities are really, really bad. Segmenting means to divide a list or segment a list by a particular topic or interest. It's also called tagging. So the way you tag um, uh, meetup members is uh, you you create a situation where they RSVP yes or no for an event related to a specific topic and then you can uh, access those people as a segment. Uh, a little bit um, uh, brute force but it, yeah, it works fairly well. Alright so um, back to this uh, this uh, date here. Uh, what I'm going to do with my meetup events is um, I'm going to have um, the normal free public events that I do. Uh, the requirement for attendance is there are prerequisites and I used to do handouts and blog posts and give people things to read. Now what I'm doing is I'm assigning as prerequisites to my free public meetup events different sections or chapters of my book. So the prerequisite, for example, for this uh, particular coming meetup, which is going to be uh, the first Friday of um, uh, this month, the prerequisite is chapter 55 of this book, which is the seven step uh, Kindle book bootstrapping sequence, I think is the name of that. And it's sem seven simple steps to create your first uh, 100 reviews and uh, on a Kindle book is what I'm um, going to be talking about. So what I would do, um, or what, I, what I'll do is uh, tell people, you know, that's the prerequisite for this time. So when you do your review, you write your review. So like if you were doing a review today, it would be, uh, you know, 2014-0429, chapter 55, um, 
your seven step Kindle book bootstrapping sequence and then write the review about that and now next month or I may actually run these on first and third Friday I'll assign another chapter and so then for example if a person was doing the next review on uh, chapter 32 it might be something like this 201405 uh, uh, chapter uh, 31 is another really good chapter direct Traffic Magic. And then they do a review of Direct Traffic Magic. Um, so the idea is to have these reviews um, actually turn into long form copy for your book and have the reviews be constantly updated. So anyway, the way that I wrote this review um, uh, I pulled out uh, Brian's uh, book off the shelf, and this is the way I do all my Kindle reviews: is I, I pull the either the physical book or the Kindle book, and I ask the author if there's a specific chapter they'd like to review, and they tell me. And uh, this first bit here, I do a little disclosure that um, um, about me knowing Brian and a little bit about his background, and now on to Actually, I'm going to say uh, chapter seven, charging your marketing battery. So I, I made a slight change onto my review of. Uh, so I'm going to make a slight change this to all. So I'll actually go through the republish process. All right. So now I'm I'm reading or I'm rereading chapter seven. It's been a while. Uh, so I skim the chapter, and as I'm skimming it. I'm writing my thoughts right down. Uh, let's see. Uh, oops, I a little bit of a tie. Uh, I guess I was writing here and I broke my concentration. For a complex operation. This is how easy it is to change um, reviews also. Brian used the word advertising for a complex operation attracting. And now here's here's the hook or here's the conversation about review jacking. Uh, writing uh, and see this code here? Um, here's how this code gets generated. Writing and then what you do is you go up here and say insert product link uh, books Beautiful business. And now it's going to find all the occurrences of beautiful business, of which mine is, um, that used to be like way down at the bottom, and now it's um, right here at the top, which is good. And when I say select, it actually builds this code right here. Uh, so writing beautiful business, I prefer the word attracting. So I brought up the, the um, uh, right in the normal flow of the review I just um, insert uh, a hook to a particular uh, product there Oops, there's a misspelled word and then I go ahead and finish my uh, review here and I've got uh, label this for use customer center purchase this item preview your review and like I said there'll be um, uh, different reviews and actually I'll go show you a review that I've done uh, put multiple updates in and you'll see here's the link to writing beautiful business I prefer the word attracting which is more accurate with Brian too because his entire approach to advertising is conversion science which is the process of cultivating magnetic attraction um, alright so let's uh, publish the review now, if we go and take a look at um, Brian's book here, and we go all the way to the bottom and click uh, See All Customer Reviews, Brian Massey, the conversion scientist, hooks up hooks fire hoses of cash 
In fact, you know, actually, I'm going to say uh, hooks uh, cash blow fire hoses to your bank account. That uh, that flows a little bit faster. So now let's go back and take a look at. Uh, all customer reviews. All right, uh, Brian Massey, the conversion scientist, hooks cash flow fire hoses to your bank account with this masterpiece. Uh, and here's our um, title for the review, then the date that we did, and then right here we see writing beautiful business. There's the link to my book. And all is well. Now let's um, let's go to uh, human biological machine. The human biological machine is a transformational apparatus. is a book by E.J. Gold, and I believe that I've uh, pu published. Um, Yeah, um, so here's here's an example of a review that I did. My first review I did back 2011-06-22. Um, and then my next review I did just a few days ago, 0425, and I actually put the hook to beautiful business in here. Uh, that way if, um, you know, if a person comes along and sees this and uh, reads the review, some number of people are going to click through and buy my book. So. I'd recommend when you're doing reviews that you give a great review and then um, if you have no book published that's fine and then when you do publish a book uh, go back and do a review, a review update where you put the new date in, review some other part of the book uh, so you increase the value of the review for people uh, visiting this person's page and then put in a, uh, a hook to your book. Anyway, so that's the um, uh, the um, a very long discussion, I guess, about um, doing reviews. And um, you know, if you if you did find uh, this review useful, then I um, encourage you to uh, purchase my book. Uh, which, by the way, I see when I republish this book, I require to put beautiful business. And then living well, doing what you love in the title here. In fact, I'm going to make myself a note of that. Uh, and also put, um, yeah, you can have very long titles uh, up to, I uh, choose to know what the limit is. I've seen them at least 30 or 40 words. Um, sometimes it seems like they're even longer than that. So you can put, um, you know, uh, a, a great deal of additional information in your title. So be sure and do that. And then also, uh, if you are publishing, uh, Kindle books. If you Google uh, book design mastermind, uh, which is also bookdesignmastermind.com, uh, here's the. Well, hmm, you know that's interesting. Uh, this meetup group hasn't been approved by Meetup yet, so if it disappears, in other words, if they uh, say that it somehow doesn't meet their terms of service, nobody knows. Nobody knows what the real uh, reason is that any group is um, approved or disapproved. If you go to insidetrackparty.com slash tribe, uh, that will route you to my uh, meetup group. And if you join my meetup group, then uh, here's an example of um, the uh, book design mastermind bootstrapping your Kindle publishing empire is the talk I'm giving on um, this Friday and so far there are 10 people attending and 12 people not attending in other words uh, normally only 10 people would have taken a micro action <clears throat> by telling people that they if they take a micro action they also receive content in the room now I've got uh, 22 micro actions instead of uh, 10 and um, also if I go back to this um, Book Design Mastermind. I really ought to save this page. Uh, 
I'm going to save this page as 2013-04-29 meetup book design master mind. And I'll tell you why I'm doing this. Uh, I just said save this and I'm saving the um, <clears throat> I could probably just save the well. I'll save the complete web page just so I know what it looks like. Now, actually, I'm I'm just going to save the HTML. The reason I did this is see these categories over here, and I go in I go into um, Meetup's stupid interface is so broken. Pardon me. I go into great detail in um, about how to do this in the book, but basically. You get 15 categories when you're forming a meetup group, and this is a great place to uh, find people to do book reviews or um, to populate a meetup group and then run meetups where people pay as their admission fee a book review. So this is a way to get uh, to build lists very rapidly. Um, see each one of these categories here, or let's see, I just know what we're about. They're sometimes referred to as meetup categories or topics. Each one of these, there are 15. Uh, you're allowed to choose 15. Each one of these has a list associated with it where uh, the links are unpublished, but I uh, give you those inside of the Beautiful Business book. So uh, that will be in Chapter 32 of Beautiful Business. Uh, for example, um, the entrepreneur link here, I checked it. Uh, back when I formed this group last week, and there were um, almost, well, there were, I think, over 3,300 people waiting on that list or waiting on that topic. Now, what that means is that 3,300 people, when Meetup approves this group and they allow the group to go out of review into formation, then they're going to email every person that's uh, camped on each one of these topics, they're going to send that person a copy of my meetup group description which is um, well anyway if you go look at it and you're you're not a member of the group you'll see the description um, so each one of the people on each one of these categories that's camped on these categories is going to get emailed to them a copy of my uh, meetup group description now the power of this is that if you add up the numbers of all the people waiting on all 15 of these categories in Austin back when I ran the numbers last week the total number of people that are going to get an email from Meetup came out to be 50,431 people um, now these are th these this is different than like Facebook ad impressions or Google PPC or print advertising uh, all of which are very very expensive uh, and are non-targeted traffic uh, meaning that um, there, uh, nobody has jumped up and down and said, uh, I am interested in your specific um, idea or your specific niche or topic. These people, on the other hand, have. And if you were uh, to just randomly send uh, 50,000 email to people you don't know, then a lot of that's going to be spam. Uh, in Meetup, though, these people have basically opted in. These are basically email uh, opt-in list that you can uh, you can make use of within Meetup, uh, so that uh, as as uh, more and more Meetup members join these different topic mailing lists, when you create your Meetup group, if you know the right list to create or the right categories to camp onto for your particular Meetup group. Then you know, in even small cities like Austin, I choose to know is like a million, two million people, whatever it is, fifty thousand people. That's a huge, um, that's a huge amount of people. And so, um, my point here is that uh, if you're looking, uh, one of the strategies I'm going to be talking about in my seven-step Kindle book bootstrap sequence is um, you go through this process. You form a meetup group, choose your category, so you can reach. You know, thirty thousand, fifty thousand in New York. It's you can reach one hundred and fifty to three hundred thousand people if you pick the right categories. Uh, and these are all opt-in lists that you can access that don't know you. And because they've opted in with Meetup, it um, your um, 
you're not a spammer. In other words, you won't get flagged for spamming for basically spamming these people. So anyway, uh, that's my last little uh, talk here about um, uh, Amazon reviews. Um, uh, why you, why you ought to have them, or what what they're for, why you ought to have them, uh, and then uh, how to do a really great review.